Welcome to the spoken tutorial on data types and factors. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find types of vectors, identify categorical variables, use factor and levels function. To understand this tutorial, you should know data frames in R. How to set working directory in RStudio. If not, please locate the relevant tutorials on R on this website. This tutorial is recorded on Ubuntu Linux OS version 16.04, R version 3.4.4, RStudio version 1.1.456. Install R version 3.2.0 or higher. For this tutorial, we will use a data frame captaincy data dot csv and a script file myfactor dot r. Please download these files from the code files link of this tutorial. I have downloaded and moved these files to data types folder. This folder is located in my project folder on my desktop. I have also set this folder as my working directory. In our programming language, variables are not declared as some data type. Variables are assigned with R objects. The data type of the R object becomes the data type of the variable. It means everything in R is an object. The frequently used R objects are vectors, lists, matrices, factors, and data frames. The simplest of these objects is the vector object. R language has the following atomic vector types. Logical, Integer, Numeric, Complex, and Character. By Atomic, we mean that vector holds the data of a single data type. Now, we will learn how to declare these vector types. Let us switch to our studio. On the console window, type test data with capital D, press ALT and hyphen keys simultaneously. Now type TRUE in capitals. Press ENTER. Now type CLASS and then test data in parenthesis. Press ENTER. Observe that the data type shown here is LOGICAL. Now type Test data, press ALT and hyphen keys simultaneously, type within double quotes TRUE in capitals. Now type CLASS and then test data in parenthesis. Press ENTER. Press ENTER at the end of every command. Observe that the data type shown here is CHARACTER. Note that R considers true as logical data and true within double quotes as character data. Now we will learn about numeric data type. For this, we will assign a value of 12 to our test data. We will modify the previous command. Click in the console window and press the up arrow key twice. The command with test data appears. Delete the word true in capitals. Now type 12 and press enter. Type class and then test data in parenthesis. Press enter. The data type shown here is numeric. Now we will assign a value of 12.5 to our test data. 
in the console window, press the up arrow key. Locate the command with test data and assign 12.5 to this variable. Press enter. Now type class and then test data in parenthesis. The data type is shown again as numeric. Here R considers both 12 and 12.5 as numeric. In order to declare an integer variable in R, we will invoke the as.integer function. In the console window, type test data, press alt and hyphen keys simultaneously. Now type as dot integer and in parenthesis 12. Now type class and then test data in parenthesis. The data type is shown as integer. We can also declare an integer by appending an L suffix. On the console window, type the following commands. Again, the data type shown is integer. To know more about the vector types, please refer to the additional material section on this website. Open the script myfactor.r. I am resizing the source window. Run this script by clicking on source button. I am resizing the source window. Captain C opens in the source window. Let us find the data type for the data in each column of Captain C using str function. Click on the script myfactor.r. In the source window, type str and within parenthesis Captain C. Save the script and run the current line by pressing Ctrl plus Enter keys simultaneously. I am resizing the console window. On the console, the details of Captain C are shown. There are six observations of nine variables. The structure of names in the Captain C is denoted as factor. In our language, factors are data objects. They are used to categorize the data and store it as levels. Factors are variables which take on a limited number of different values. They are often referred to as categorical variables. Let us switch to RStudio. Click on Captain C data frame. I am resizing the source window. We will look at the data in names column of Captain C. Click on the script myfactor.r. In the source window, type print within parenthesis Captain C dollar sign names. Here, dollar sign is used to extract elements by name. Run the current line. The names of the captains are shown in the console window. Also, the levels are shown. Levels are distinct values in a factor. Our language considers names as a factor. Click on Captaincy data frame. Names should be of character data type. We will change its type from factor to character. Click on the script myfactor.r. In the source window, type Captain C dollar sign names. Press Alt and hyphen keys simultaneously. Now type as dot character within parenthesis Captain C dollar sign names. Now we will check the variable type of names again. In the source window, type str and Captain C in parenthesis. Run the last two lines. I am resizing the source window. Now the type of names is changed to character. 
Let us learn how to identify a categorical variable. Click on Captaincy Data Frame. I am resizing the console window. Formats represents the number of cricket formats played by a captain. There are three formats of cricket played at the international level. Test matches, one day internationals and 2020 internationals. Accordingly, formats can take one of three distinct values. One, two or three. Observe that formats in captaincy should be a categorical variable. At this instant, the variable type of formats is set as integer. Now, we will change the type of formats from integer to factor. Click on the script myFactor.r. In the source window, type captaincy dollar sign formats. Press Alt and hyphen keys simultaneously. Type factor within parenthesis captaincy dollar sign formats. Factor function is used to create a factor. Now type str and in parenthesis captaincy. Run the last two lines. Formats is shown as factor with three different levels 1, 2 and 3. These levels are of character type. So, a factor's levels are always character values. We can also check the levels of a factor variable using levels function. In the source window, type levels within parenthesis captaincy dollar sign formats. Run the current line. The levels of formats are shown as 1, 2, 3. We can also change the values of levels using levels function. Let us change the levels of formats from 1, 2, 3 in digits to 1, 2, 3 in words. In the source window, type the following command. Press enter. Now type print within parenthesis captaincy dollar sign formats. Save the script and run the last two lines. The values and levels of formats have been changed. Let us summarize what we have learnt. In this tutorial, we have learnt how to find types of vectors, identify categorical variables, use factor and levels function. We now suggest an assignment. Using built-in dataset Iris, find out the categorical variables. Can you find a variable which is categorical but R reads as numeric? If yes, change it to categorical. The video at the following link summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using Spoken Tutorials and give certificates. Please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. Please post your general queries in this forum. The FOSI team coordinates the TBC project. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. The script for this tutorial was contributed by Sheikh Samir, FOSI Fellow 2018. This is Sudhakar Kumar from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.